This is the most impressive lithium iron phosphate battery I've seen in this price range. In today's video I'm going to test it out, but these are the features that I really, really like about it. It's the smart part. It's actually really smart and it makes my entire battery bank smart. The company that makes it is Go Kilowatt, and uh, this is their website. If you cannot scan this thing on the screen, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video for those interested in uh, getting this cool battery. Once I'm going to show you all the features that it has. So first of all, there is a screen here on top, and this screen has data that the BMS provides. And it's very, very convenient place, especially when you have it in a battery bank with other batteries, because then you will have good info about the health of your a battery. It comes with an app that you have to download and install. This particular app, it's pretty cool and I'm going to show you those features real quick. So this is the app Xiao Xiang. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's just me. And then when you open up the app, it finds the battery and it links to it automatically if you bind it. So it gives you an option to bind it. And then the data is going to start pouring into the app. And I'm recording the screen right now for you guys so you could see. But basically it tells me that it's at uh, 63%. So I've been charging for a couple of um, uh, minutes since I got it. It comes a uh, charge at 50%. Uh, it gives you an estimated time of charge. So it's a very, very slow charger just for testing purposes. Um, how many uh, remaining capacity you have. It uh, gives you the cycle, so the number of cycles that you have to charge. It gives you uh, a couple of voltages, the current that I'm charging, the total uh, voltage of the battery, and then you have the charging power, which is 13 watts right now. As I said, it's a very, very small charger. It gives you the temperature and really nice. It gives you all the cells and what uh, voltages they are at. And you could see how they are working in, the, in time to balance each other. This, this data feeding, it's awesome. Even if you get just one of these batteries for your battery bank that you already have, you already made your entire battery bank smart. And of course, uh, on the other uh, side, you have uh, a little graph and then it shows you what happened overnight. I, I kept it on a very, very slow charger overnight. I'm still in the testing phase. So today I'm going to put it through its steps. I'm going to charge it fast uh, with a fast charger. Usually these batteries like to be charged at 20 amps. They could handle 100. Uh, this charge, they could handle 100. So I'm going to test it out with all those things, make sure it works fine before I'm going to integrate it into my battery bank and uh, it's going to provide power to my house. But this is a great battery to have maybe into a um, van or something like that because this is what's nice about it is this app you could um, get the data from almost anywhere in the house it's bluetooth but bluetooth goes pretty far so if you are in a van or a camper or something like that this is really nice as far as the dimension is on a bigger side so these are the, the bigger cells in it this particular one it's uh, 13 and a half by it needs about 10 inches clearance on top and then it needs uh, about seven and a half clearance uh, side to side. But let's see if it's as good as it looks because the app is very, very nice. Well, let's see if it can handle the demands. I like to test my batteries properly before I go deep into it because once they're integrated, they're going to stay there for a long time. These batteries usually have three to 5,000 cycles of charge. So once integrated into my house, they'll stay on that shelf on, in my battery bank forever. So here we go. This is a rock solid inverter. This inverter can handle about 120 amps. This battery can provide about 100 amps. So today we're gonna pull as much power as we can out of it before the VMS cuts off. Theoretically, you could run anything off of it. So let's plug in a couple of things. A vacuum cleaner. This vacuum cleaner was pulling 33 amps. That's 350 watts. What about an angle grinder? Easy, 250 watts, so very, very easy, no problem. Okay, let's try something more serious. This is a heat gun, capable of 1500 watts. So, and then we're gonna keep an eye on these voltages over here. I'm gonna give it uh, the 750 version. So right now it's pulling 56 amps out of the battery. Hot air comes out. And now we're gonna switch to the other one. So this is gonna pull a lot more. So right now you were pulling 11 amps at 110 volts. Uh, the voltage for the battery dropped to 11.7, but it's maintaining and it just cut off. 1500 watts. And I want to be very, very clear as far as that goes. 1500 watts. The battery was able to maintain 110 amps, even though it's only rated to 100 amps. Obviously, after a couple of seconds of that, it says, no, thank you. And then it comes back on. So right now, 
did you hear how it did the beep? It came back on because it protects the battery, protects the cells, and then it waits for a little bit and then it came back on and now I have power again. So I'm gonna push the button and I have power. So it's super safe, it's not gonna overheat, it's not gonna burn, it's not gonna do crazy things. But that was just a short load, as I said. 100 amps VMS, I pulled 111 amps out of it with this heat gun. And it maintained it for a couple of seconds. Before it turned off, waited a little bit, it came back on. It's safe, these batteries, these lithium iron phosphates are super safe. The BMSs are super smart. This battery is super smart. The cells are very durable. These are the way to go. No gases, no things like those for creating problems inside the van. I love these things. Now, let's see how it wants to handle a long load. We're gonna charge an e-bike with it. Pull with two chargers, about 100 amps constantly out of it. See what happens. Here we go, we plugged in the charger and then this one is starting to pull some amps out of the battery. Right now it's pulling 55 amps at 12 volts. That makes it about 650 watts. The battery stabilized at 12.2 uh, volts. Uh, this is rated 2.8 at 100 amp hour, so it can do a lot more. Uh, very, very safe, the lithium ion phosphate batteries. I really, really like these batteries. Let's run it for a little bit like this. I'm gonna show you what the smart BMS tells what's happening right now with this particular charge. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a screen recording and then you will be able to be the judge for what's going on, the smart data that this battery is feeding. So with the other charger plugged in, I'm gonna push the battery to its maximum. This is all it can handle. I don't even know if it's actually gonna hold. So I'm gonna plug in the charger and everything is gonna change because right now, I'm pulling 102 amps, so I am maxed out on this battery. The voltage is automatically dropped, 11.5. It's definitely under maximum load. Right now we're pulling 109 amp hours out of it, and we're pulling over 1300 watts. There it is. So we're pulling 109 amps at a temperature 17 degrees, 12.5. We have 54% battery left. This battery is one of the few batteries that I've seen on the market that claims that it can do less than what it can do. It's sitting like this under this load for a good 10 minutes now, and I'm gonna let it run until it runs out. Because once the battery will get discharged under 50%, obviously the voltages will drop a little bit, or it should, but maybe we're gonna have a surprise. Maybe this thing just runs forever. I'm gonna let this test running. Um, I'm sorry, I was a little bit overly excited in my voice when I was recording this video because this is an exciting moment for me. Very rarely I get something that says one thing, but I get more. It's like when you go to the store and you ask for a kilogram of plums and then you get 1.1 kilograms because the merchant is really nice. This is what happened right now. Also, this thing got hot. I just heard the fan turning on. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm. So I have new data at 44%. It uh, shut off. It was not able to provide 109 amp hours. And uh, I've only left one charger on it right now. So I'm gonna drain it um, at uh, 50 something watt hours, wherever it's gonna settle right now. So at 44, as soon as it passed from 45 to 44%, it just gave up. I said, you know what, you're exaggerating. I'm rated for 100 amp, I gave you 10, 15 minutes of 110, you had enough. And that's great, that's fair. Because it can take bigger loads for short periods of time, enough to maybe heat up your noodles into a microwave that it's 1,000 or 1,200 watts, and then after that, it will revert itself back to normal coverage as far as that goes. Quick update, the battery is almost drained, it's running at 7%, it's providing 11.3 volts at 62 amps still, and uh, it's about to be empty and cut off, and as soon as it cuts off, we're gonna put it to charge. It does give you a warning when it approaches 0%, it does give you a warning that it's gonna shut off. Almost time. I'm gonna put it out of its misery. Uh, the bike is charged to 71%, so I'm not gonna force it because I just don't have to. I'm gonna put it to charge and see what happens. After three days of testing, it's time to draw a conclusion. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of work, but I've tested everything that I can test about this battery. I've carried it everywhere in the backyard. 
It's hooked up right now to an, a PW controller and also an MPPT controller. It's pushing 70 watts, this one. This one is, I don't know, but um, the screen is really nice because it tells me it's charging at 2.9 amps. The app is really, really awesome because you could see a lot more data, but at this particular time, this particular screen is just so useful because when I walk by battery bank over here, it's just uh, right here, like literally just right here. So. For those people that are interested into a good battery, uh, it can handle a lot more power than it. I thought it will. It has more power than actually it claims. It does everything really, really well. This is my favorite so far. Actually, this one is broken. And this one is not hooked up because this one is broken. But these just work so well. So uh, once I get the other one replaced, this is gonna be this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have uh, about five kilowatts worth of power over here, and then the entire system is gonna be finished uh, with all the wires and everything that needs to be in the right place. Well, anyways, go kilowatt.